and welcome back to another vlog. It's race day. What are we racing, Josh? Large year, 2.2 race, five day tour. In France. In France. You excited? Very excited. First time pinning the numbers on in six months. Mega man. So, looking forward to it. Day 150k, relatively flat, small road esque finish. But we got Iron Gate here, he's pretty quick, so we should have some fun. You gotta get the old bike footage, it's what people love to see, Batty. They do. Last box. Classic French race. Bonjour. Bonjour. Just people got photos here that you've never seen before. Part two. What? Good <laughs> flashback. Smell of smell of liniment is just Missed that mate. Yeah. Missed that. The day started. Yeah. Does the New Zealand Swannies do it like this? Nah, it's, it's a very European thing, isn't it? Very Euro mate. <laughs> What type of tart is it? Not a clue. <laughs> Hopefully, really carby. <laughs> Very carby. Yeah. How's the race today? That was chaos. I thought before it's been four and a half years since I've done a kind of stage race in Europe, and it was like what was it, 160k? We did 400 meters climbing, which meant it just wasn't hard enough. So there's 150 guys all there at the end on small roads. It was one of those where you cross the line and you're like, oh, I'm just happy that I'm still alive. <laughs> but good, all the boys are safe. We made it through, no, no results today to speak of. It wasn't, today wasn't really the target. The target for us will be when the racing gets hard, hopefully we'll be up the front and eyeing an opportunity to try and win the race overall. So yeah, job done today, I guess. Just back to the hotel after the first stage. Just had my massage. The thing I don't miss, I enjoy the daily massage, it's lovely. The thing I don't miss is the absolute rash that comes out on your legs. I think because I'm guessing it's a combination of you've just shaved them so the pores are open and exposed and then they're sticking oil on them. And then once he's done the massage, he kind of goes over with some sort of alcohol and cleans the oil off them. And this is the end result. This is life of a county team. New staff, new race, so just trying to be a little bit self-sufficient with food. So I brought some bagels, a little avocado, a little lunch. The tart was nice after the race, but I wouldn't exactly call it lunch, so probably have to have a few words. Now it's mission, take the bagels to the restaurant and try and find the toaster. Definitely the easiest job being a bike rider at these races. The mechanics are probably up first, or the swannies. They don't really stop when we get back to the hotel. It's nice rocking up every day with a perfectly working clean bike. What do you think chances of me finding a toaster are, boys? No toasters here, don't like the bread warm and they're a little bit crunchy. They just do ready-made toast. This contraption looks like it would do the job. I'm successful. This is the end product of my lunch. No toaster. Pizza oven, but no toaster. So, you figure that one out. Apparently there's no toasters in France, so you gotta work with what you got. This is the life, isn't it? Yeah, just having a rub and watching more cycling. Mega mate. How did you go today, Ethan? Not too bad. No, stayed safe. We averaged 48k an hour, so... Was it 48? Yeah. Wow. Pretty rapid for 160k. What do you need for from the racing for it to suit you? A little bit harder terrain. Be in the breakaway. Just uh, one of those all just day. Just one of those, yeah, just all day slog fest. Do you know your stats from today? What did you average? Power? Uh, 263, I think. So not, not too not bad. Too bad. Stage two today. Woke up feeling pretty good, actually. The stages here are such relaxed starts. So we will start racing at 12. So you can kind of have a lie until basically about nine. What's the time now? Wake up, have some breakfast. And then we'll go down to the start and chill out there.
What we got on the cards for today, Gay? Bike race, 199 kilometers. Nice. Flat, flat no wind, sunshine. Oh, sounds a bit fine. boring, to be honest. <laughs> and we got Lassie. Lassie is the boss's son. How old are you, Lassie? I'm 12. Uh, and I'm gonna film in the car. So you're gonna be my helper with the vlogs, eh? Yeah. What? What's up there? My cable fell out. So did the cable fell out yeah. because of your crash? Yeah, because... Are you plugged it back it in? Just bent yeah, across. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I just pushed yeah, it back in. Okay, that's good. How are you feeling? I'm good. Try to stay a little bit out of trouble here at the back because they crashed already before. It's a little bit more up and down today, at least. But then you... Be careful, and eh? be careful here. Because these guys want to go to the sprint like this again. They won yesterday and that's all they want to do. So, otherwise it's another opportunity gone today. Yeah. So tell to the guys, once we come to the local circuit, we start to hit it out. You should have gone on the climb like that one guy did. He's at two minutes already. Wow. And now we're waiting, we're waiting, we're waiting. And all of a sudden, we're going to be at 20K before the finish okay. line and it's not possible so anymore. Hit it now? Yeah, we need to race. We need okay. to start racing now. Right, and that's what we'll do. Yeah. Gap is going down. Now it's 35, 35 seconds for seven riders in the lead. Yeah, day two done, in the legs, 200k, actually quite a relaxed day. Move of three, went up the road, 18k in, and it was a 200k day. We didn't hit the circuit, it's still about 160k in, so basically 140k of just tapping away at 170, 180 watts in the wheels, so actually quite relaxed. And then that kind of meant the circuits were chaos. Our plan was when we hit the circuits, it was a 500 meter climb to the finish, and we did the circuit three times. And literally the first move, Gatey got in and it stayed away to the finish and Gatey ran second, so job done. Felt quite good personally, so Gatey's third on GC now, but we, we came here to win. So I'll be interested to see what the team meeting's like tonight. But yeah, all the boys run well, legs are good. A couple more 200k days to come. I didn't get any footage yesterday because it was quite a serious day and we had big serious heads on so I didn't feel like it was an appropriate day for the vlog. But today's a bit more relaxed and we're gonna have some fun out there. So yeah, so yesterday we kind of raced hard, we animated the race. We got Gatey into the front group again. He was potentially gonna be leading GC, but kind of punctured out the front group, which left myself and Luke in there. Luke tried to lead me out, but it turned out I didn't have money, didn't have very good legs, so I probably should have led him out. But yeah, you're going pretty well, eh? Uh, lift him up at about 85k to go I think, so he's eager to split the race up. I think from a physical point of view, we're there. I'm probably a bit too keen. Maybe just trying to force it a bit much. Need a bit more patience and just calm down a bit. Mm. But yeah, another good day.
Day five, Batty, how are you feeling? Feeling pretty good, eh? How's the tour gone so far? Can you give give us a little brief? Not too bad, just trying to avoid all the chaos of uh, all the sketchy French riders, but yeah. you know what it's like sometimes. Yeah. You get that on the sure. big jobs. What's the plan for today? Set up the boys for the for the win, obviously. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, we've had a wee bit of bad luck. Like we've been racing aggressively and well. On day three, Gatey punctured out of the front group, and if he didn't puncture, he probably would have been in the yellow jersey. I had a crash coming into the finale yesterday, so I lost some time on GC. So I think today for us is again just trying to animate the race and hopefully pull a stage win, maybe. This is the finishing hill. Yeah, it's gorgeous, man. And how are you happy with your condition? Yeah, shape's good. Confidence is good. The race has been too easy and it's just super dangerous. Especially personally for me, made that classic, I guess, Kiwi mistake of you know, in New Zealand, sometimes you go hard on a tough section of road and there's 10 of you left. You come here and you do the same and there's 100 guys left. This is French A, remove the cars from the black race. Ha! <laughs> Unlucky, mate. <laughs> but we're here with uh, Ross and Suzanne Balfour. What are you guys doing here? Oh, watching just passing you. through. Watching yeah. you and watching Stuart. <laughs> yeah. So uh, Ross and Suzanne moved to France just shy of two years ago, I guess. Setting up base here, a bit of retirement. How's retirement? At least we've come to you guys, sort of. Yes, exactly. That makes it easier. Yeah. yeah. Makes it easier. Wait till Kai's price. That'll be good. Yeah, I reckon. In our yeah. area. Yeah, mega. How's your week been? Uh, it's been not too bad, not too bad. To be honest, uh, the race is a bit flatter than I was expecting. I didn't really look at the profile very well. Yeah. But now it's been a decent, decent ride from the squad, so pretty happy. Are you happy to have your parents here? I just interviewed them. Yeah, yeah. Happy to have the rents here. It's, uh, yeah, they don't get to see that many races, so it's pretty nice. Hey, Lulu. What's this? <laughs> What's this? Holiday? Holiday? Yeah. Oh, come on. <laughs> How you doing, Frankie? How's this week been? Honestly, we came here to win the bike race. Yeah. And bad luck. To me, we were one of the three strongest teams here. Yeah. And then the day we were gonna take yellow, bad luck strike. Aaron was gonna was third on GC. He was gonna take yellow. See, and then you crashed out with about six k to go. <laughs> I was frustrating again. Exactly. Yeah. And you couldn't do anything about it. So now we end up in a situation where we just have Majway try to make a top 10 on GC, but we really can't win anymore. So, yeah. Last stage, race very aggressive and try to do something. I like the sound of that. I mean, it's that. only 97k, and we do 13 laps, which of one kilometer of these laps is uphill, and then one kilometer downhill. We just can't wait to get slaughtered. We need to slaughter the other ones. I like that. Yeah. What would you say your role within the team is? Why have the team brought you on board? To solve problems. Yeah. <laughs> what kind of problems? Coming to the bike race that's the fun part yeah driving behind you guys that's that's like the excitement but before we get to a bike race it's there's a lot of things speaking to organizers sitting on your knees begging to come and do the bike race because nobody really knows the team here yeah well you know everybody yeah all the race organizers you get us the starts yeah I do but this year is a lot harder than last year because for example in here in France we have six new continental teams, so we managed to get the start and now it's up to us to prove we're worthy to. And you're the brains. You teach us how to win, or teach me. Well, we didn't win so far yet, so my brains are not that good. Another problem to solve. Yeah, another problem <laughs> to solve. Thank you for watching. Our week in France was great. We had a lot of sun, some bad luck, but today we'll turn it around. Watch it. Cheers, guys. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Yeah, already. <laughs>